Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to see problem number 491, non-decreasing subsequence on lead code. Here we are given an array of different elements. Okay, so we need to find a subsequence of elements. So subsequence increasing elements. So we need to find the increasing elements. It doesn't mean it needs to be consecutive, it can be anywhere after that particular element i will be explaining and showing you the logic behind this problem to solve this okay before solving this problem i would like to tell please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting so we will now dive into the solution so this is an example that I have chosen to explain for you guys. So in the first, I will be having a path, okay. I am going to keep track, I am going to solve this problem using a recursion, okay. I will keep track of the elements that I have seen in a variable called path, okay. Then I will iterate through the number of arrays. Then I will iterate through each and every element. Okay. So initially I will pick four. I'm going to use a for loop to do this. Okay. In the recursion. First, I will pick a four. Okay. If there is a path. So since the path is empty, I'm going to append four here. Okay. I'm going to put four here. In the next recursion i will pass 3 and 7 the rest okay now i will check whether 3 is greater than 4 or not since 3 is not greater than 4 i will go move to the next element in the same level in the recursion okay since 7 is greater than 4 i will put 7 as well which is nothing but 4 comma 7 so in the next recursion the path will be 4 comma 7 and a new num will be after this 7 alone okay then again i will check whether 7 is greater than or equal to we will put the element with whether the elements are greater or equal to okay since they are both are equal I will put 4 comma 7 comma 7 this is my new path so now I will since the in the next recursion the path will be the num will be empty so I'm going to return it will automatically return so then I will append whenever I there is a path greater than or equal to since the question says at least two elements so whenever the path is greater than or equal to 2, I am going to append that in my result stack. Okay. So in each level, I will do this. 4, 7, 4, 7, 7. Like that, we will do in each and every element we iterate through. Okay. Also, here, each, since we are using recursion, there are going to be a duplicate list of elements list of arrays so to remove those things i'm going to use set function okay i will rather than using a typical a list function i'm going to use a set function okay now we will see the code so initially i'm going to have a set okay i'm going to define a rec now our recursive function okay i'm going to pass nums index and our path okay first i will get each and the index of the elements okay in that particular recursion
now if there is path if there is an element already present or if the current element is greater than or equal to so here if the path is empty or if the last element of the path is lesser than which is nothing but if the current element so if the path is empty or if the current element is greater than my last element in the path i'm going to do the recursion okay i'm go i'm just going to do the recursion i'm going to increase my pointer my index then i'm going to append the current element to my current path okay so whenever whenever i have a length that is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 2 then i'm going to add so whenever my path is greater than or equal to 2 i'm going to add that path to my result stack i'm going to use tuple since we need to convert that into tuple in order to add it in our set okay so so i'm going to call a call the function initially i'm going to have the index 0 and the path as empty now i'm going to return our result stack by converting the set to list set stack to result stack okay now i'm going to run the code as you guys see it worked so thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers